I rise today to honor a native of my hometown, Paris, Kentucky, Mr. Garrett Morgan. He was born March the 4th, 1877, the seventh child of 11 children. His father, Sidney, was actually a former slave and the son of General John Hunt Morgan of the Confederacy. With only an elementary school education, Morgan had invented and is considered the godfather of several life-saving inventions that, are, that we utilize every single day. And one of his earliest jobs was actually at a sewing machine factory where out of necessity, he learned the inner workings of the machine, how to repair them quickly and get them back up online, and develop ways to improve them, make them faster and safer. And using that success, while he was working that, he actually stumbled upon a chemical solution that he had created to stop the scorching of the woolen fabric that was so often used. And he also learned that it actually made an excellent hair straightener product, which he quickly marketed and sold, which gave him financial security, which is important for the rest of the story. This allowed him to pursue such novel ideas as the breathing hood, which later is developed into the gas mask. In 1914, he patented this and quickly gained support from firefighters across the country. And interestingly enough, researching him and understanding his story, he actually had to hire a white actor to, to act as the inventor of this as he went around the nation because it was very popular, but because he was black, he couldn't get it sold. He hired a white actor who would, who would display the product and say it, and then he himself would actually put on the hood and go to a smoke-filled area and demonstrate um, how, how safe it was. And in 1916, he did more than just demonstrate it. While in Cleveland, um, there was a collapse. They were building a, digging a tunnel beneath Fort Erie, and it collapsed, and there were workers trapped under there. And his brother and himself, they donned the mask, they went in there and actually started rescuing, uh, rescuing some of the trapped workers with this. And I just wonder how Mr. Morgan felt knowing that his safety hood that he invented was the prototype for the gas masks that were worn all throughout World War I and World War II, saving countless American soldiers um, during that time. And it's obviously the godfather of the gas masks that are used now, now today. Then in 1923, he was the first African-American in Cleveland to own a car. And he witnessed a horrific carriage versus car traffic accident. Uh, and being a thinking man, he immediately solved it and he invented the traffic light, which he later sold those rights to General Electric for $40,000. And as a kid, I drove by his, histor his historical marker every day that recognized him. But for each of you that is not blessed to be from Paris, Kentucky, I ask you to remember Garrett Morgan every time you sit safely at an intersection at a red light. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.